hello friends of the twins and welcome back to the channel this is Rhonda and in today's video we are going to be cleaning up I'm actually gonna give my bathroom a good cleaning my master bath and then we are gonna go ahead and refresh kind of update the decor a little bit now I do have a set day that I like to go in and do a thorough cleaning in our bathroom and that is every Friday and it typically takes me about an hour sometimes an hour and a half now this bathroom journey has been quite interesting this is actually the first time that my husband and I have shared a bathroom my other house had three bathrooms this one only has two but uh, I do like the fact that we each have our own vanity areas so that is a good thing to have two sinks separate but I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of refresh things here on my vanity and I love having my vanity sitting here and y'all look this is me and Shonda that was Shonda on the left and me on the right I've always been the bigger twin and so the first thing that I do after I get it closed and all that stuff out of the way is I go ahead and I spray down my shower with a bleach and water solution I like to go ahead and do that and let it sit for a while and I always wear my mask I used to not do that when I was younger but Shonda and I have asthma and so you know as you get older and wiser when you know better you do better so I always wear my mask because I do not want to agitate my asthma we've always had asthma since about a year old so you know I just always wear my mask and here I'm showing you a beautiful jewelry box that I found at a consignment shop and I love it so much and so like it, you know in other parts of my home I, I have things here in my bathroom that I really enjoy looking at hence my jewelry box so I'm just gonna get everything wiped down and the solution that I'm using is something that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I shared it with y'all in another video a haul video this is my first time using it and I must say that I really loved it it, it smells so good it is a part of the awesome brand products that they sell at the Dollar Tree. When I go into the bathroom, I have about four different products. You'll see my Fabuloso there. I love the way that the Fabuloso smells, so I definitely use it. I'm trying out that new awesome brand of bathroom cleaner. I have my bleach solution in which I you know I spray down the shower and the toilet with and I let that sit and I also go in with my Windex now it is so convenient friends of the twins for you to have a brush a dedicated brush like this brush I use for my bathroom then my daughter has her own brush that she uses on that side of the house if I could give you one tip I would tell you to keep two sets of everything you know like we don't have stairs here but um, it's convenient to keep two sets of cleaning products one on each side of the house that way you don't have to go back and forth like nobody wants to be cleaning every day all day typically so you know if you just figure out different ways to make it more convenient for you then that will help it to go better so what you saw there is we are now cleaning over on my my husband's side and I have that drawer there. I have everything organized for him, a place for him to put loose change and just things out of his pocket. And that has been such a great thing for us. If you have somewhere for things to be placed, then it helps you to stay organized and to be able to clean up and get your chores done quicker. So now the bleach solution has been sitting for a while. I go in and I spray the shower down with water get all the bleach off and then I go back with my actual shower cleaner and I take my brush and I scrub the walls of the shower the hardware the floors and you see I also have this solution here it is that awesome bathroom cleaner spray down be sure to get that rubber stopper that is under your glass door you can forget about that and it can get moldy really quickly so after I get everything cleaned and all of that then I go back and I take a towel and I actually go back and I dry the spaces down I, you know I don't want to leave any room for any mold 
to start growing so I just always go ahead and wipe the shower down completely dry when I'm finished cleaning and then the last thing that I'll do and I love my squeegee y'all I'll leave it linked in the description box for you I got it from Amazon but I love cleaning the shower glass with this squeegee I was a little skeptical about it you know I didn't think that it would really work as effectively as it does but it really does I really do enjoy using this squeegee to clean the glass shower I didn't film me cleaning the toilet but once I'm done I always just leave my brush out once I rinsed it and I let it sit and air dry then I go back and put it back so here y'all I bought me a beautiful new picture and I found it at Ross I love the grays and it has that hint of blue but once I put it up on the wall, it was pretty, but it, but it just wasn't giving what I needed it to give. So I remembered that I had this beautiful gold frame out in the garage. So I went and got it and we put it together and it totally elevated the look. Let's take a look. friends now this is how the space is looking and I tell you I am absolutely loving this wall art just adding it you know it was the perfect size and I didn't measure this is another thing my husband always teases me about eyeballing things but I absolutely eyeballed the size of this wall art while I was in the store and compared it to the frame and it was perfect you know they fit together perfectly one other product that I forgot to mention to y'all is to tell you that when I clean my bathtub, the sinks, the toilet, I like to use soft scrub. I think that it works perfect. And so here is my side. And so of course, you know, it is really girly and pretty. And honestly, when we moved here, never having shared a bathroom, I was concerned that, you know, the bathroom was going to have to look too masculine or maybe i was going to make it too feminine and then he wouldn't be comfortable but we have you know it has come together perfectly i've tried to always keep him in mind and not make things too girly and too frou-frou but the fact that we have our own separate sink areas and they are kind of far apart actually works in our favor and so on my side here i already had this floral arrangement y'all know I love flowers and I was gonna have a flower in here somewhere all I did to refresh this is I did add the yellow feathers or the gold colored feathers and then those kind of fall looking florals the the gold color with the little balls on them I added that and that's all that I did now with the towels I did keep that simple I didn't want to make it too girly and frou-frou because I knew that I would have the same on both sides and yes, you just saw our bathroom does have a skylight and I love that. And here, these are our baby pictures. I finally got them hung up. That is my husband on top, me and Shonda. And then that is another picture of my husband when I think he may have been about two years old. It's important to me to have our personal effects around. That just makes my home, y'all know I love. Here come my favorite words, comfy and cozy. Now over on his side, it is nowhere near as frou-frou as my side. He does not like a lot of things out and about and I would never want to make it too feminine over there. So we just keep those decorative boxes and he keeps things in there. Here is a look at the bathroom from, you know, looking from his side up to my side. Now these are his personal things he is a marine a former marine so we have that there he is a ford truck lover a ford lover in general and in this box i keep his well he keeps his jewelry his classroom and then this this is very special to him the kids had it made custom for him and gave it to him 
for Christmas, I believe, last year. So see, little things like that, I love having, you know, I have to make my space be personal, comfy, cozy to us. And here down on this far side, I did add those two little pieces of wall art. And the towels I found at Home Goods. Will there be any other changes? I don't know. Maybe my son left and went to Texas and took my small hand towels that would go on the towel rings near our sinks. So I'll be on the lookout for something to put there. You know, I ne never say never, but I will say that I am enjoying the refresh here in the bathroom, and I hope that you have too. Friends of the Twins, as always, you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short. And thanks so much for watching.